Ever since it was reported that the Utah Jazz were interested in trading Donovan Mitchell, the Knicks have been linked as the favorite to land the three-time All-Star. The Knicks and Jazz have had talks, but they haven't come to an agreement because the Knicks weren't willing to meet Danny Ainge's asking price. A few days ago, it was reported that the Knicks were willing to trade Evan Fournier, Obi Toppin, and five first-round picks with two of them being unprotected. But the Jazz asking price is more significant, and both teams couldn't reach an agreement. Now it's being reported that the Jazz want Donovan Mitchell traded before the start of training camp, and the Cavs have withdrawn themselves from Donovan Mitchell trade discussions. So what does this mean for a Donovan Mitchell trade to the Knicks? I'm going to break that down, but before we continue, I need you to hit that subscribe button. If you like watching insightful and informative content on the Knicks, then this is the place to be. So drop a like on the video and subscribe. So according to Brian Windhorst, the Jazz won Donovan Mitchell traded before the start of training camp in September. Utah appears to be on the verge of a full-scale rebuild, so this news makes sense. The Jazz traded Gobert back at the start of free agency for a massive haul of draft picks from the Wolves, and they just traded Patrick Beverly to the Lakers. This is what a team does that's trying to start over. They're looking to start a brand new rebuild and tank for Victor Wambayana, and trading Mitchell will probably make it so Utah is the worst team in the NBA next season. With this news coming out and the Cavs backing out of trade talks, the Knicks appear to be in the best position to land Donovan Mitchell. Leon Rose has played his cards right during trade talks. Danny Ainge is looking to fleece as he always does. But he knows that the Knicks have the best collection of assets among all the Donovan Mitchell trade suitors. The only team that can compete with the Knicks in terms of draft picks is the OKC Thunder, and they're not even looking to acquire Mitchell. The Knicks own the right to nine first round picks within the next five years, along with having some good young talent, so they have the best potential offer for Mitchell. So knowing this, Leon Rose is fully aware that he can play the waiting game until Danny Ainge lowers his asking price. The Knicks don't have their backs to the wall here. They have no reason to act desperate. They have a young team with potential to compete in the East after the Jalen Brunson pickup, so they're fine with walking away from Donovan Mitchell trade discussions until the price comes down. If this report is true that the Jazz really want Donovan Mitchell gone before training camp, then there's more pressure on Utah than New York to get this deal done. And if that's the case, then it means that it's really the Knicks that have the upper hand in trade talks here. Now, we don't really know all the details of the trade discussions, but it seems to me that Leon Rose wants to either give Utah a huge stockpile of picks or a huge portion of the Knicks' young talent, but not both. The Knicks probably also want to hold on to RJ Barrett. I think it's inevitable that Donovan Mitchell ends up on the Knicks. The Knicks really won him, and Mitchell reportedly would love to play in New York. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. The Knicks front office wants Donovan Mitchell, but they're not trying to sell the farm for him because they know another move or two is going to be needed to become legit title contenders in the East. Donovan Mitchell is a great player, but he's not a superstar like Luka or LeBron that single-handedly turns your team into a legit title contender. Donovan Mitchell probably gets the Knicks back in the playoffs, but he likely doesn't put them on the same level as other contenders like the Bucks and the Celtics. Another trade will likely be needed, so the front office isn't about to trade their entire stockpile of assets for Donovan Mitchell, which is the smart way to operate. It looks like it's very possible that Donovan Mitchell will be a Nick before the start of next season, but it's only going to happen if the Knicks can get him for what they view as a reasonable price. But anyway guys, that's going to be the end of the video. What do you think of this news? Do you think Donovan Mitchell gets traded to the Knicks before training camp? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, drop a like on it and hit that subscribe button. It's also been recently reported that the Knicks have been shopping Julius Randle. Click this video to see if Julius Randle will get traded before the start of next season.